Okay guys, here's a little bit of an example of opening those ports and leaving a little bit of your scribe line so you've got a little bit of material left to finish that out to the line without exceeding it. Because remember, my goal is to get that thing transitioned seamlessly into your stock manifold opening or your header. Um, I think I've measured it in the past when you work these like 862 706 style cathedral port heads you're actually raising the roof a good I think it, if I remember correctly it was like a good two hundred thousandths of an inch pretty close to that so it really helps yeah, keep the speed because remember when that exhaust gas is leaving the cylinder it is what they call a superheated uh, gas that's trying to get out of the head as fast as it can so the less it has to turn coming out of the cylinder through the port into the exhaust manifold header whatever you want to call it the better so let me just show you this little picture and then I'm gonna get back to work okay guys I wanted to show you something real quick when I scribed <clears throat> the gasket to these ports one thing that I noticed was either there was a slight core shift in the casting of the location of the ports or there was some kind of a shifting issue with where the bolt holes are that locates the gasket because every one of these exhaust ports had needed a significant more amount of material removed on the right this side of the port on all four both heads. So normally it'll come out fairly equal, but I just wanted to point out that follow your scribe line. This port's not 100% done, but I wanted to take a break real quick because my burr was starting to load up pretty heavy with aluminum and I need to let the air compressor build back up a little bit. But basically when I'm working this shape, I'm trying to leave the floor Un, unmolested and then I'm going to just work this shape to try to get that you know as round as I can I guess you could call it but I'm going to leave a little bit of my black sharpie line so that I have a little bit of meat to work with if I want to hit it with a double cut burr my sanding rolls my finishing work leave yourself a little bit of meat in that material so that you can work it out to your final uh, parameter or a landmark or scribe whatever you want to call it so anyway I found a way to get a little bit of work on camera and I was just going to show you uh, basically I just cut those out and leave a little bit of the line I know this isn't the best camera work you've ever seen Okay, YouTubers, we are raising the roof on these 862 heads. Uh, we scribed it to the inside of our gasket, only on the top three quarters uh, portion of the port to make sure that everything fits inside the stock manifolds or headers or whatever you're going to bolt to it on these uh, regular 862 706 style heads. I basically just color the port or the uh, gasket surface and uh, scribe in the top three quarters portion and then I will raise the roof accordingly so that it'll transition fully from the guide all the way into the exhaust manifold header or whatever you bolt on there but I just wanted to kind of show you a little bit of the work while I'm doing it today. <laughs> 